Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to digitally display your artwork in Photoshop by using mock-up templates. These are just free Photoshop resources that you can find online that allow you to visualize what the artwork that you've created would look like on a wall or on a poster frame. What I have open here is just a mock-up template that I found online uh, and it came with a brick wall texture to put on the background and then I have a poster that I personally created. So I want to place my poster in this frame to visualize what, what it would look like. So typically when you have these templates, they're going to come nice and neat in folders and named layers that are all adjustable. So for this one here, we have the frame and the background. So let's say I wanted to adjust the background color. I could just double click on it and choose whatever color I want for the wall or like this one included a brick wall background as well. So I could just take this picture and drag it up in my background layer, but underneath the frame. So I'll use this brick wall here, but now we wanna put our photo inside of the frame here. So as it says here, put your design here. What you wanna do, since this is a smart object and you could see because it has the smart object element symbol here, is just double click on it and it'll open up in what's called a .psb. So now anything I edit on this layer will show up here. So I'm gonna take my poster here and all I have to do is drag this layer onto the PSB smart object file. Now of course I'm using a poster sized image so it fits perfectly, but there's different mock-up templates out there for different purposes. So as you can see, my poster fits in nicely. If you wanted, you could reposition it or scale it, but I'll leave it at that. And then all I have to do is click File, Save. Now when I go back to the mock-up template, you'll see that it's updated with the new smart object that I saved with my poster in it. So now I've placed my own poster design instead of the placeholder text that was there. Now if you want to continue, Usually the documents have other things that are editable, like this one has an editable color frame. So I can change it to a color if I wanted, but I'll go ahead and leave it at that. A few things to note is you wanna make sure you're reading all the terms and agreements to the specific resource that you downloaded. Um, this one here is free for personal or commercial use, but sometimes some of them might just be free for personal use or some of them might not be free at all. There's tons of free ones out there, so I'll link you guys to the one I used here. And hopefully now you know what to search for when you're looking for your own template. Most of the time when you see it on a website or a portfolio or Etsy or something like that, it's probably using a template like I used here. So hopefully this made you a little bit more aware of the resources that are out there, such as these templates, and you have a good idea of how to use them and when to use them. If you guys did have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll help you out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for weekly Photoshop tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.